Lucy friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is KJ Ricardo and today's episode is a production spotlight on some behind the scenes set secrets from the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour special. So a lot of this information comes from the I Love Lucy scrapbook by Elizabeth Edwards. I have featured the scrapbook previously on my YouTube channel and I truly admire this book. It's very interactive. It features so much information about the making of these episodes and little collectibles that I think every I Love Lucy fan will enjoy. And so I'm going to continue looking at the scrapbook and we're going to look at the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour, specifically Lucy Takes a Cruise to Havana. This is the first of the hour-long Lucy Desi Comedy Hour episodes, which would air about once a month. Desi Arnaz had wanted to change I Love Lucy into an hour-long show for quite some time in the late 1950s. CBS offered a huge salary increase if he would keep the half-hour shows, but Desi rejected the offer, and so CBS knew that he was serious about his idea. He wanted to do this while I Love Lucy was still at the top of its game with the ratings. He wanted each episode to feel more like a mini movie, and I think he truly accomplished that. Desi promised each episode would feature a famous guest star and more music. The original budget for each episode was about $350,000, so it was a huge production. The first episode was actually 75 minutes long. Desi convinced U.S. Steel to delay the start of their U.S. Steel hour program, The Locked Door. Lucy Takes a Cruise to Havana is a flashback episode to tell the story of how Lucy and Ricky met and fell in love. The episode features four main guest stars, very famous celebrities, including Hedda Hopper, as well as Rudy Valley, a famous singer, Anne Southern, a close friend to Lisa Ball, and Cesar Romero. Now, the flashback to Lucy and Ricky's meeting contradicts the other stories previously told on I Love Lucy. For example, on I Love Lucy, Lucy mentions that she went on a blind date with Ricky, arranged by Marianne Strong. So they didn't meet in Cuba. They met when Ricky had already arrived in America. They also didn't meet the Mertzes until they moved into their apartment after they got married. But this special shows that they met the Mertzes on the cruise ship to Havana. We learned that Lucy was a private secretary in New York, working with her good friend Susie, played by Anne Southern. Anne had just finished playing the same character on the CBS series, Private Secretary. This is one of the earliest crossover appearances in TV history. You might think that this episode was filmed in Cuba, but that's not the case. The film footage of Cuba was second unit footage. The actors never left Hollywood. During the summer of 1957, the Cuban revolution started to escalate with the murder of a Castro collaborator. Desi told film editor Dan Kahn to get the footage and then get out of Cuba as soon as possible. And that's really it. That's all I have for you this week with some behind the scenes secrets and information about the making of the very first Lucy Desi Comedy Hour special. Of course, this episode is a little bit longer and so it tells you the complete flashback story to how Lucy and Ricky met and fell in love. And it's a wonderful episode. It's not truly authentic and accurate to the stories that we hear on I Love Lucy, but I think we just have to ignore what we heard about in the past and just focus on this episode. And I still really enjoy this special and just seeing how Lucy and Ricky fell in love. It's a very intimate, romantic episode. And it also has a lot of comedy in it, of course. And so I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Let me know what you learned and I would be happy to read that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time with another video. And remember to always laugh often.